Oh, hey, I'm Ben Olson. Ben, you're losing him. I'm Warren Van Dyke. And we're the Biomed team. If we knew CPR, we wouldn't have lost him. So, we've been working on the CPR simulator that teaches proper CPR while also showing the physiological aspects of the heart during compressions. This picture labels the subsystems of the CPR simulator. The heart chambers are difficult to see, but are positioned directly under the rib cage. Here is the strength testing of the rib cage. It took 125 pounds to compress it 2 inches, and 150 pounds to compress it 2.4 inches. The feedback system was coded accordingly so that the force measurements would follow American Heart Association guideline. Next, the accuracy of the sharp proximity sensor was tested as shown. Notably, it was found that the sensor is most accurate between 5 and 10 centimeters. This information is important as the sensor should be positioned at a distance so that the compressions are occurring in this range. Pay attention to the LED lights illuminating. As the rib cage is compressed deeper, the line of strip lights does as well. The green lights indicate the ideal range. We saved him! Let's go!